Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a handy feature that a lot of the newer TVs have and some of the more expensive older TVs as well. It's called PIP, P-I-P, which stands for Picture in Picture. So at the moment, as you can see, I'm playing a game on the Xbox One, yet in the top corner I've got Indiana Jones playing, which is on BBC One. I can change that channel to absolutely anything that I want to watch. That's ITV, Channel 4, or whatever else is on Freeview. Now at the moment I've got the sound coming through the main TV but I can also change it to have the sound coming through the picture in the top right hand corner. I can also change that picture in size and move it around four different locations on the screen. So that's how you do it on this one here. It would work, it doesn't work when you're watching TV. So on this particular TV which is a Samsung and that's the model number there, 40 inch 4K TV, it doesn't allow me to watch one Freeview channel, then watch another Freeview channel up here. But if I'm using, for example, the HDMI port, so if I'm using the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One S, or the PC, my computer's connected up here, then it will allow me to do the picture in picture. So if I was to get my remote control and go to Source, and I'm gonna change it to PC, at the moment now, I've got some pretend currency trading going on here, pretend now you're working from home and I've got that picture in the top right hand side. Now let's say if I wanted sound on that picture on the top right hand side because this sort of thing's handy if for example you want to do some gaming or some work here but yet you want to watch football maybe in the top corner. So what you need to do is you need to go to settings and then under picture you will see it says PIP. So if you go down to PIP you can then turn it on and off there. So if I turn it off, it will disappear. If I turn it on, it will come back. And then I've got the size. So at the moment, it's that size there. You can make it smaller. You can see it's small in the top one. You can do it side by side. The only problem with this is it squishes it all in so the screen looks funny. Or you can have it looking normal side by side, but then it cuts off the top and the bottom of the screen. So if I was to choose that one and go to close, you can see now that it looks more normal but the screens have become quite small but again it's quite handy like that so let's go back to it again and just to show you how to change the sound that one there put it back to the top corner because that's where I like it okay and if you have a look here you can change it so that's in the top right hand corner you can have it in the bottom right hand corner you can have it in the top left or the bottom left. So depending on the game or the website or whatever, depending on what you're on, you can tuck it away out of the way. So I quite like it in the top right, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then you go down to sound source. So at the moment it's on main, so it's gonna be show, pushing the sound through the main screen, but if you go to sub, it will push it through on the little top right hand corner. So if I close that now and exit it, if you have a listen, the sound is now coming through the top corner there and if I change channel you will see that the sounds coming through there rather than main screen so that's a, a handy thing to have It's especially good if you don't want to miss something on TV but you've got other things to do on your main screen so it really is handy when it comes to gaming because you can have something going on in the top corner while you're gaming and it doesn't really put you off. Okay, hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Take care. Bye now.